Hello, Cosmic Storm 300 here. Anyway, here's what I've been working on for the past few days, about three or four. Anyway, here's the rules. Don't create, don't craft with custom potions. It will freeze the console. Yes, I'm serious. Unfortunately, poor J is still screwing everything up. Don't break the signs, like that or that. And I have floating horses floating boats, regular boats, and when you go in the water there, if we're in this Hunger Game map, don't jump in or you'll fall down. Just walk in and hit the A button. Then you'll go ahead and swim across, and then you'll go ahead and go hide or do whatever you need to do, and you have 30 seconds. I didn't put a timer on, but you guys can if you want. Also, you'll have to go through all the chests and remove all the tipped arrows that I gave you if you don't want to try to have a fun game. Because the tipped arrows, if you shoot at a person, if they hit the person, you'll be fine. But if you shoot right next to them and the game thinks it needs to be picked up, then it will freeze. I know it's retarded. It's another 4J error. But, hey, what do you do? But you craft with them. But you don't craft with them at all. Do not craft with any of the modded stuff. Here is um, a tipped arrow. You'll know because it'll have a name on it. If it has a name on it, like that, then you know it's a custom modded arrow. But you can hit yourself with it and it'll be perfectly fine. I, it's really weird. See, I'll show you. It just when you try to pick them up in survival is when you have the problem. And I might freeze now too because I suck at hitting myself. <coughs> so let's grab a dispenser and do it for me. See? You're perfectly fine if you hit yourself. And these are Brian horses. <laughs> and then there's two hidden chests in this entire map. I know, lame, only two. But, you'll have to go and find them to remove the tipped arrows if you don't want to use them. Again, you can hit yourself with them, but if you hit the ground and try and pick them up, it will freeze the console. Sorry, it's a lame thing that 4J's been doing. Anyway, let's go on to the next map that I've been working on. This one's finished. The other one is not finished. I still need two more boats, and not as ugly as this. Here's the back. Probably look better in a resource pack, but I don't have one. Because I can't have a resource pack or or I mean I'm a texture pack offline. Thanks to 4J's retardedness yet again. They think, oh, if they have it offline, then they can give it to others for free. And then there's a button down here to activate a secret hole. But I won't activate it in my series that I'm going to start. And I'm not done with this. And yes, there's rooms in here. And here's the tail again. And here's the um, the lookout thingy, whatever you call that in a pirate ship. It's not finished. But I think it looks kind of sexy. The big old tail, the small pirate lookout ship, 
And then the front, yeah, a little bit is a little bit off because of the hidden redstone hiding the door. But, yeah. <laughs> it's 100 blocks long, if that asks your que answers your question. Anyway, you all have fun and have a good day, and I'll see you all back tomorrow, or hopefully doing a new series that I haven't learned how to do yet. Bye!